And so, and I think this is important. Like we've talked a lot about like, okay, what should we focus on? I like giving like, if anyone listening, here's some actionable things. Cause we've talked about kind of like two main things to be doing when you're reading a science passage, which is using your scratch paper and highlighting. But I, I always like, the way I always kind of like teach is like, I'm very strict when it comes to like, what you're highlighting, what you're writing down. Cause a lot of people are too like, when I ask about science passage strategy, like what do you choose to highlight? They're like, just what looks important. Yeah, whatever like, seems important, whatever seems often important. is not important. <laughs> and I'm like, how do you know? Like, how do you know what's important? It's important. It's not. It's not intentional, right? I wasn't being extremely intentional when I highlight. So, when it comes to highlighting, for me, the only two things I'm highlighting are buzzwords and equational numbers. That's it. Like you, like I think you said it beautifully. Like you do not highlight sentences because I so many times. And again. I'm always going to refer to this one. Yeah, you know you're out there, right? Where um, you highlight... We're, we're breaking passage. the fourth wall we're now. We're breaking the fourth wall now, where you highlighted something in the passage and then got a question wrong because you didn't remember what you highlighted. Right? You, like, highlighted a really... You can... Because it's very easy to tell in a passage, oh, this sentence looks important. Very easy to tell. But highlighting is something I call very passive. Yeah. Like, when you highlight something, you're not actually forced to process it. Like, what did you have? What does that actually mean, that relationship that you just outlined? Because when you're actually forced to summarize it in your head and put in your own words and write it, now you're actually processing it. Now you're actually thinking about it. So when there's a question about it, right, you've actually already done the work of processing it. But how many times have you seen this falling where somebody's got the question wrong? They're like, oh my gosh, how do I know? And then it was like, oh, that was, see that relationship that you just highlighted there? And they're yeah. like, oh yeah, I forgot I highlighted that. I'm like, I, yeah, 